Denver on D. They come into this game after losing on Saturday. Their defense got absolutely destroyed in that game as they weren't closing out on the perimeter shooters. They were allowing people to get into the paint and score from point blank range. Just an overall abysmal effort. Yeah, something was missing. No doubt about that. They let an opponent shoot a really high percentage and that's got to be a concern going forward. Looking at the starting five for the Atlanta Hawks. Jeff Teague and Lou Williams, the back. He'll zap at power forward with Horford at center. And it's Jordan in at the small forward. Here's Williams. Nate Robinson making his last shot. It's stolen by Lawson. And Robinson with a clear path to the basket. And that one's good. Great move to the hoop. And I love the finger roll finish. So it's Atlanta now. Four-point game. Teague the pass to Jordan. Good on the shot. Jordan's got his second bucket. It's going to be tough for the defense today. If he's got his A game rolling here tonight, we'll see. Robinson against Williams. Robinson drives in. That's good. Robinson's got six. Yeah, you love the tenacity, guys. His will to win, his, his love of the game. It's just beautiful. That's good. Three straight makes to start this game. Looking good. Nuggets have gone 4-4 four four to start. So a nice offensive rhythm to start here. Lawson dishes to Hickson. Al Horford with the rebound. First miss of the game after four makes, so it's been a hot start. T kicks to Jordan. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. Yeah, here's a guy who gives the coach the luxury uh, of a very simple play call, which is just the ISO. Get in the ball and get out of the way, and good things are going to happen. And here's another thing about him, Steve. Every time he gets his hands on the ball in the backcourt, he's a one-man fast break. Chandler, no good. And Atlanta has possession. Guys, we've seen some excellent offensive output. Yes, sir, fellas. They've had it going on big time. Big time is right, Clark. A lot of momentum here offensively. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Robinson with it. Williams picks him up. Three-pointer. Robinson, that's good. Robinson's got nine points. He is remarkably hot this quarter. He has yet to miss a shot. Williams gets a screen from Jordan. And Williams, here we go. No good from Jordan. Well, they're fortunate. The defense was taking a big chance leaving him that wide open behind the arc. Now the feed to Lawson. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. Lawson's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. The Hawks trail by five. Jordan sets the pick for Williams. Jordan with a screen on Robinson. Williams gets the bucket. How about that for a response? He will say they can give the three as well as they can take the three. We'll now go to Doris Burke, who spoke with Brian Shaw. Doris? We talked about the uphill battle his team was facing, and he said, I am trying to use the historical perspective of our situation in a different light. We could get down on ourselves, but now we have a chance to make history if we were to come back in these finals. That's one way to look at it, guys. Thanks a lot, Doris. Even though he missed it, he couldn't pass up that chance. Yeah, that's an easy jump shot. you got to take that. On the wing, Chandler. Lawson against Williams. Chandler, the pass to Lawson. Six to shoot. Kicks to Hickson. Shot denied. And that'll be Denver as it goes out of bounds. Nuggets retain possession. Here's a look at the 2K leaderboard with the list of the best shooters during the postseason. We take a look at Jordan. Leading the league in field goal percentage. He always gets good looks. Here's Hickson. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. 
The drive by Jordan, and it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it, he'll shoot one more at the free throw line. You know, when he's in that tight, with that kind of height advantage over the defender, that's going to be a pretty easy play for him. And the Nuggets making a change here. Gallinari's checked in, and now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. I was able to listen in on what Mike Budenholzer had to say to his team. He said to his guys that they can take advantage of this defense if they just work as hard as possible to find the gaps on the floor and keep the ball moving from side to side on the offensive end. It's still very early in this game, so there's plenty of time for those changes to take effect, Kevin. And as always, Doris, thank you. The Hawks trailer. Jordan dishes to T. Grand trying to free himself up. Teague can't hit. Denver's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Chandler kicks to Gallinari. Outside Lawson. All sorts of time. And that's good. Robinson picking up the assist. Lawson's got a second bucket tonight. Outside Teague. He dishes it to Jordan. That's good. Nice start for him. Five of his first seven shots he's made. Nuggets have gone 8 of 12 on field goal attempts so far. Robinson passes to Fareed. Here's Gallinari. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Gallinari's got his first two points of the night. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist number. And theirs are fantastic. It's just beautiful basketball to watch, Clark. Now here is Brand. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Good on the shot. And he's looked pretty good to start. Six of eight now from the field. Denver in the lead. Outside Robinson. Lawson outside. Chandler with the screen on Teague. Chandler outside. Fareed inside. He's guarded by Hudson. And the dunk by Fareed. Pure hustle on that play. And that's what it takes on the offensive boards. It's not about ability as much as it is desire. And that Clark and some muscle. And he showed us he's got plenty of that with the huge dunk. Well, in a tight game, I mean, they could use a few more of those hustle plays going forward if they're going to win. Jordan. And he gets it to go. Jordan's got 16 points. Fantastic start for him here. I mean, that one makes him seven of nine from the field now. Brooks outside. 119 left in the first. They get a hand on it, tries to keep it alive. No good. And Atlanta will come the other way. Here's Schroeder. Now here's Brooks. Out of bounds, Atlanta takes possession. I tell you what, that's just a major unforced error right there, guys. My goodness. Hawks making a switch here. Scott's checked in. Atlanta's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. To the middle. And here's four. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Brooks outside. Looking for McGee. He gets it there. And he gets the bucket. And the Nuggets lead by three. Boy, this game is off to a terrific start. No doubt. On both sides, high octane offense. Passes to Ontich. 24 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Jordan with the bucket. How about that? An 8 for 10 start here in the first quarter. Denver's gone 2 of 4 from beyond the arc to start the game. Brooks gets the screen from Foy. McGee a screen. Fires the 3. And he hits it from deep. 3 points there from Foy. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a nice look. Poor job by the defender to not fight over or around that screen. The scoring fast and furious as we end the... Welcome back to our presentation of the NBA Finals as we get going again. 
Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for the Nuggets. Boy, the three-point shot has really been dropping for them early on. The other thing we've seen right from the start, guys, is their willingness to drive the lane, get penetration, and challenge this defense. They've got Hickson. Randolph is out there with Gallinari. Then it's Brooks. And it's Foy in at the shooting guard position. That's the group for Denver getting going here in the second. And for the Hawks, they're shooting an impressive 65% having their way with this defense. Schroeder kicks to Horford. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Stupendous rush to the rim and a mighty slam on the end of it. But through the teeth of some pretty soft D, I can't help but say that. Well, let's see how that impacts things here, because those kinds of plays sometimes can be game changers on both sides. Beautiful job angling his body, shielding the big man from the ball on his way to the basket. That's really the only way to do it if you're going to take it down there amongst the tall trees. Now here's Jordan. Oh, oh my oh, goodness. Oh, oh, oh. What a huge play. I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. In a close game, the important thing is the two points, not the dramatics. Oh, come on, Clark. He had to go <laughs> for it, didn't he? I'm with, I'm with you, Kevin. You can't fault him for that. I mean, just let him go. Who cares? Catching up on the changes for Denver. Fareed's checked in for Randolph. Chandler comes in for Gallinari. Hey, Robinson is checked in for Randy Foy. And it's Lawson in for Aaron Brooks. Here's T. After the made shot from Hickson, T kicks to Jordan. And that comes off the assist by Jeff T. Teague's got three assists in the game. Denver's gone three of five from beyond the arc so far tonight. And a chance here to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Doris Burke. Hi, Doris. Thanks, Kevin. The dude in their last matchup against the Nuggets was superb. He finished with 63 points and was in the zone as a shooter, lighting it up from both the foul line and the field. Absolutely amazing numbers from him in what was truly a memorable performance for him and for us, Kevin. Thanks, Doris, for revisiting what was an astounding performance, Clark. It clearly was one of those games that when we look back on his career, this game will be right there among the best ever that he's played. Well, he was in the zone from the outset. It was just one of those games where he was feeling it. Everything is, was going his way. And he attacked, and that's what I like. Once he knew it was his night, he just attacked relentlessly. No good from Lawson. That's not an opportunity he fails to convert very often. Millsap sets the pick for Williams. Here's Jordan. But they recover it. And there's the pass to Horford. It's stolen by Hickson. Chandler right side. Feeds to Robinson. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one Jordan up top. Going are recovering. McKee with the block. They get it back. Here's Jordan. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Jordan's got the lead up to one now for the Hawks. We've got 33 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Brooks outside. Out left to the wing. And it's Gallinari missing. Most of the time, that shot will go down. Boy, the defenders have to make sure they tag it. Corver dishes to Jordan. Outside, Scott. From deep three-point range. And we're through two here in a good one. Well, Nate, as always, you play with such tremendous energy. What is your source of motivation each time you come out on the floor? Uh, I mean, for me, I never give up on a play. I'm going to play with it. And now, brought to you by Sprint. From this crucial game for the NBA Finals, we... The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Welcome back to game four as we get ready to start things up again. 
We're seeing a tremendous game from the dude. Yeah, the defensive effort and intensity has been fantastic, and you can tell he's really inspiring his team with his play. Yeah, his emotion and his production. He's been patrolling the court, blocking shot after shot out there, and he's really made a statement with his defensive effort. And so in the game for the Hawks, he'll zap it power forward with Horford at center. Jeff Teague and Lou Williams, the backcourt, and it's Jordan in at the three, the small forward. Here's Horford. That is good. Horford's got the first points to start out the third quarter for the Hawks. Seems like they're on their heels every time defensively because the ball continues to go into the post. Well, if they don't pick up the aggression, things are only going to get worse. Now, here is Robinson. Out to Chandler. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. Robinson's got his sixth assist on the night. D there, guys, was pretty much non-existent. I mean, you can't leave a good shooter like that open. Here's T. Pass to Horford. Back to T. Poked away and stolen by Lawson. The finish. And he goes big with the dunk right over Al Horford. Man, he got fancy with that one, didn't he? Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. Yeah, and I like that. I mean, some coaches might want to see just a, a sure-handed lay-in, but I say put as much as you can on the finish and get your teammates going. Shot is good, and the Nugget lead is cut down to one in the bucket from Jordan. That's been a great day for him, and if you remember, he gave them a huge performance their last time out as well. Lawson the pass to Fareed. Back to Lawson. Dishes it to Chandler. Rejected by Jordan. And so it looks like Denver will retain possession here. And on the screen now is the 2K leaderboard with a rundown of this postseason's assist leaders. Ty Lawson is second. Well, it's great to see guys step up to the added pressure of the postseason and deliver big numbers, not only for him, but his teammates. Anybody that distributes the ball the way he does helps his team and himself. He's played an important role in their offense today, guys. Without him, they may not be in the lead. Off the screen. That one wide left. Uh, he's been trying to add that mid-range shot to his arsenal, but it still isn't there. Williams against Robinson, rejected by Millsap. Right side Teague. He kicks it to Jordan. Count it and the foul. That one on Chandler. You got to love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of grinded out physical game. Yeah, that was your game, Clark. Pound it inside and <laughs> take the ball right to the defense. <laughs> That's what I tried to do, man. I knew my limitations. Talk about complete control. Everything working in this one for Jordan. He's got 30 points and three denials. This game is all about him right now. He is in full domination mode, guys. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? I was able to listen in on what Mike Budenholzer had to say to his team. The ball has to be fed into the low post much more than it has been to this point. That was his message. He said, they're giving us room down low. Let's take advantage of it. Perhaps the rest of the second half will look different after those adjustments, Kevin. Thanks, Doris. Now here's Millsap. After the miss from Hickson, Millsap kicks to Jordan. Four on the shot clock. The 10-footer. And that's good off the glass that time. Jordan's got 32 points in the game. What a top-notch game he's had. He's gotten them in front, and it sure seemed like he's going to keep them there. All by himself, it looks like. And Fareed with the basket on the assist by Lawson. And that's now six points for Kenneth Fareed. Here is Williams. Outside Jordan. And he uses both hands to jam it in. And Clark and Steve, as we approach the fourth quarter, still anyone's ball game. Yeah, exactly right, Kevin. I mean, these teams just simply keep trading baskets and as a result, trading the lead. Yeah, neither side really able to create much of a cushion at all. So you know, which team can make a little run here? We'll see. Now, here is Robinson. 14 points for him. Shot clock at five. 
Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Robinson's got 16. Really tough to get that shot off with the size differential there. It's not an individual matchup he's going to win every time, especially in the post. Very well done. I didn't think he had any business operating down there with the big fellas. Millsap down low. Fareed's there. Millsap kicks to Jordan. And again, it's Atlanta. And as hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan should be simple. Get him the ball and get out of the way. And Lawson with the drive. Outside for Robinson. The pass to Chandler. Blocked. And it's out of bounds to the Nuggets as Denver retains possession. Damari Carroll's checked in for Al Horford. Here's Lawson. He's got 13. Lock at six. Good work defensively by Millsap. You know, they haven't been able to open up a big lead, but the rebounds are starting to add up for them. They may be able to pull away a little bit. Yeah, they've been doing the dirty work inside, Steve, playing a very tough brand of basketball. And pushing it up. Here's Denver. Here's Mozgov. And boy, that looked like goaltending. Yes, it is. And so they will award the basket there. He didn't get to that one quite in time, Kevin. Those can be tough to gauge sometimes. Atlanta making a switch here. Jordan with a screen on Robinson. Williams kicks to Jordan. And he banks in the layup. Jordan's got 38 points. Denver's gotten two-thirds of their three-pointers to fall tonight. They're six of nine overall. Back to Lawson. From deep, Gallinari. It's rebounded by T. You know, even though he missed that three-point shot, I think the defense has to do a better job of challenging the shot. Yeah, because you know if you continue to give up open looks like that, you're in big trouble. Well, he knew that with his height advantage over his man, it was really a good decision just to rise up and take the jump shot. Lawson against T. Robinson dishes to McGee. No good. The Hawks leading by three. Jordan with it. Now guarded by JaVale McGee. The drive by Jordan into Millsap. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Hawks will retain possession. Atlanta making a switch here. The Hawks working the ball around. Shot from free throw range. Takes a big high bounce and goes in. Jordan's got 42 in the game. You're going to be waiting a long time if you're waiting for him to miss that when he's that open. Gallinari gets the screen from McGee. And it's Randolph penetrating. McGee the pass to Gallinari. A three-pointer no good. Atlanta shooting an impressive 65% having their way with this defense. The shot's good from Jordan. That's their third straight make off an assist. Boy, the ball movement's been fantastic here the last few possessions. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. They, Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. Here's McGee. And he can't stop the run as he misses. The Hawks leading by seven. From deep. It falls. And three more from Jordan. Jordan's got 47 points. He is just tearing it up this quarter. That lead's not going anywhere while he's this high. Outside, Randolph. Back to Gallinari. Pass to McGee. Five to shoot. And Jordan sends it back. And it's out of bounds to the Nuggets as Denver retains possession. For the Nuggets, J.J. Hickson, he's checked in for JaVale McGee. Chandler comes in for Anthony Randall. And Nate Robinson is subbed in for Randy Ford. That's good. 13 points for Wilson Chandler. Right now, the defense needs to do a better job of closing out on this guy. He's heating up from outside. Jordan with a screen on Brooks. Chandler with the steal. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. And stolen by Jordan. Shot clock is off. This should be the last possession of the quarter. That's what they should have in mind here. Let's it go from 11. 
Brooks gets the rebound. You'd expect him to nail that one being that close to the hoop. 18 feet out and released it in time, but it's off the mark. Shots continuing to fall as we conclude the third quarter. Both teams putting up points. Hawks lead by seven. From the Pepsi Center in downtown Denver, we're back in a moment. And as we end the third quarter, a great game. Both teams playing well. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And the finish, guys, this is where you know you are right on the money with that pass. Look at that. Perfectly timed. Okay, now let's reset our lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go for this fourth quarter. So out there for the Nuggets right now. Brooks out there with Nate Robinson. And there's Hickson. And it's Wilson Chandler. And it's Gallinari in at the four slot. Their interior defense has been dismal. Yeah, and unfortunately, their offense in the paint hasn't been a whole lot better. Brooks kicks to Gallinari. The dish to Chandler. He feeds it to Brooks. Back to Chandler. Brooks outside. Fires from 18. They grab their own miss. That's good. And the Atlanta lead is kept to just seven on the basket for Nixon. And his specialty is tracking down those great offensive rebounds that oftentimes he can put right back up for an easy deuce. Steve, he is always on the prop. I mean, you got to body him up early or he'll stake out that prime real estate for those second shot opportunities. Here's Jordan after the made shot from Hickson. That's good. Jordan's got 49 points in the game. And you can feel the, the pattern of this game, guys. They're, they're working it inside, dominating in the paint, getting good shots at will. Well, four of their last five baskets, guys, have been of exactly that variety. That one's in there. The Hawks' lead has cut down to seven points thanks to the hoop from Gallinari. Atlanta's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. Schroeder off a pick from Jordan. Steps back and fires. And Atlanta again with the bucket. Boy, the deeper we get into this game, the more offense we're seeing. And that goes for both teams, Steve. Everybody firing on all cylinders right now. Dixon a screen on Nilsson. Colinari dishes to Robinson. Off target with his three. Hard work on the glass once again, fellas. They put a lot of effort into their rebound. Well, you get more rebounds, you get more possessions, more shots at the hoop, and oftentimes that decides the game. Now here's Jordan. It's stolen by Hickson. With the floater, it will go down, and the Hawks' lead is cut down now to just seven on the basket from Chandler. Guys, that time he went for the fancy finish for us there, man. That was sweet. Schroeder kicks to Jordan. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. And he uses the glass on the layup. Now he's playing with an edge here, playing extremely well offensively here in the second half. Onari with it. He's picked up by Milson. Robinson's got space. And there's another one for the Nuggets. The screenplay worked ideally there. And I'm not talking about the screenplay you see in a movie field. <laughs> Gave him more than enough room to get that shot off. Here's Schroeder. Knocked loose. And oh, here we go. Brooks got it. The fast break chance. The feed to Hickson. Out to Gallinari. Robinson for three. Robinson missing again. Well, he did have a three-pointer in the first half, but so far here in the second, he's come up empty. Jordan, the pass to Horford, and he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. An indication there of why the scoreboard looks like it does. Very passive defense. But the finish was anything but passive. No, he hammered that down, Clark. Superb above the rim action. Things have kind of gone south for him here in the quarter. And they double up Jordan. Kicks it to Horford. That drops and it comes off an assist from Jordan. And now an 11-point Hawks lead. Boy, they've been so sound offensively in the second half. I love the way they're playing. Yeah, there's really no comparison in the shooting percentages between the teams since the break. Gallinari, great pass to set up the lay-in. Gallinari's got four points now in the quarter. He had almost a free run to the hoop that time, Kevin. I mean, that was too easy. Passes to Horford. A jump hook misses off the right iron. I'll tell you what, for what's really a, an elementary shot, he looked a little nervous on that release. Robinson drives in. 
Out to Chandler. Back to Robinson. Chandler outside. Some nice ball movement by the Nuggets. Clock at four. The Nuggets need to get a shot off here. And it's Gallinari missing. I think the game plan needs to change here, guys, if they're going to get out of the hole because he is not helping their offense. Horford kicks to Jordan. Back to Horford. And it's Denver with the rebound. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. Brooks with it. Now guarded by Corvin. And Brooks. Here we go. And that one's good. Boy, that was impressive, Clark. He did not hesitate to take the ball right up against the bigger defender. Boy, I like that aggressive mindset there, Steve. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Yes, guys. Mike Budenholzer had some words for his team. He told his players it's so close he can taste it. Let's keep it going, guys. Keep up the hard work, and by the time that buzzer sounds, we'll be NBA champions. Nice ring to it, Kevin. How about that? Going up strong. I mean, he doesn't care how much height he's given up. It's attitude with him. Lawson dishes to Robinson. That one falls. Coming off Lawson's feet. Lawson's got three assists now in this one. The Atlanta leading by six. Here's Williams. With the teardrop, he takes it up and lays it in. You know, they're being very one-dimensional right now, going to the post every time. But if it works, you don't need another dimension. Well, they're taking this defense to task, quite honestly. Every one of their last ten points have come in the paint. Here's Lawson. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Well, how about Ty Lawson in this one? 13 points. And he's come away with two steals as well. He's blown up some plays out there. It shows you what an intelligent defender he can be on the ball. He really understands the game. Nice work there. This is a point in the game where if you've got a chance to close the gap, you've got to do it. Here's Jordan. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Nicely done. They just continue to dominate inside. That's ten points in a row in the lane. It's now purely here it comes. See if you can stop it. And let's get this update now from Doris Burkers across the way on the sideline. Yes, Kevin. Brian Shaw had some words for his team in that last timeout. He doesn't want them settling for outside shots anymore. He wants their points to come at the rim. Look for them to really start attacking that basket. Also, he said that he'd like them to operate quickly on offense, finding and taking shots early in the shot clock. Guys, they're operating under the principle that it's never too late to fine-tune the game plan. Kevin, over to you. Thanks, Doris. They haven't been as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. They're playing smart with the lead. I like that. They're being very selective and deliberate in their offense. Um, that's a good strategy when you're on top. Now, here is Lawson. Robinson left side. No good off the front iron. Just an enormous advantage for them on the boards. Guys, the key to the lead, to me, has been they've dominated the glass. It's that simple. And slam dunk by Jordan. And that's going to be the end of an epic journey taken by both teams, really, in unbelievable fashion. Get the NBA championship crowns ready for Atlanta. Tonight, they did a great job of getting everyone involved. They had the good passing, and that led to some open shots. Yeah, it's a fun way to play, and it's fun to watch, too. You look at the stats, and you'll see just how dominant a game this was for the dude. He was really important under the basket, making great plays down low and getting in position to pull in all those rebounds. Guys, that's simply superb. Ball pressure, a run out, and then a dunk in transition. Exactly, Clark, what they wanted. The aggressive defense to lead to. Yeah, points in transition. Yeah, that's why you want to make the other team feel uncomfortable handling the ball because you can get easy points out of it at the other end. Denver's gone 2 of 5 on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Deep two from Robinson. Can't get it to go. So the Hawks will take it the other way. Jordan against Chandler, and it's Jordan with the jam. Well, if it wasn't already out of reach, it is now, thanks to this spurt. Just keep on firing, man. No reason to slow down now. Lawson kicks to Robinson. Robinson missing again. 
Well, ever since the second half started, he's been ice cold. Very little going his way right now. Jordan, the pass to Teague. Thank you to these extraordinary NBA teams. We're the Eastern and Western Conference champions. Tonight, there's one team which has realized its goal to become NBA champions. So congratulations to the fans, the coaching staff, and the wonderfully talented team, your 2014 NBA champions, the Atlanta Hawks. Well, they did it. And as they celebrate, you can just see the relief, the uninhibited joy, I mean, the exhilaration that comes with winning it all. And Clark, these home fans, a celebration they can only witness in frustration and disappointment. Steve, it is some kind of feeling, certainly. Yeah, it is. For, th for these fans, I mean, uh, to come so close, uh, almost getting there with their team, and all of a sudden to have to watch the opponent celebrate on their floor, a bitter pill to swallow for sure. And now our attention will turn to the floor and NBA Commissioner Adam Silver for the presentation of the Bill Russell NBA Finals MVP Award. A tremendously talented player and deserving the award named for Bill Russell, the ultimate champion. Congratulations to the winner of the Bill Russell NBA Finals Most Valuable Player Award. What a moment it is right now to see the team who played so well together enjoying Clark this NBA championship moment. Well, Kevin, this has been a special postseason, and it's awesome to be here to witness what happened tonight. Steve? Yeah, guys, this is what it's all about. All the work you put in, uh, not only during the offseason and during the season, but throughout your life. Uh, when you're a kid growing up and practicing on your, on your driveway or on your schoolyard, this is the culmination of all those efforts. So so for these players and this team, one of the great moments in their life and their career that they'll ever experience. A tremendous season and a pleasure here at 2K Sports to be with you all season long. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, Doris Burke, and the rest of our terrific 2K crew, good night, everyone, and thanks for watching. An impressive win tonight to cap off a historic run. Sweeping through the playoffs like no team in history has done before has to put you guys right up there with the greatest teams of all time. So how do you feel the team ranks historically after this win? Man, I will go right ahead and say it. The best of all time. This team is the best of all time. I don't think there's any question about it either. You don't go on a playoff run like this, like no team has ever done before, and not rank right up there at the top. We're going to go down in history, baby, and we ain't done either. We're going to pick up right where we left off next season and see just how long we can keep this streak alive. We might even do it all over again. Definitely don't count us out, man. Yo, dog, been looking for you. I got something to say. Jackson Ellis. <laughs> I didn't expect to see you up here ever. To what do I owe the absolute pleasure? Come on, man. You didn't think I'd let you win Rookie of the Year without having something to say about it, did you? Huh? OK, so you beat me. But I just want to let you know, next year I'm going to come back even stronger. Can't let you have a leg up on me for long. Bring it. You know I love the competition. Come on, man. You came all the way up here just to tell me all that? <laughs> nah, man. Came over here on this here rooftop to prove once and for all who the better player is. <laughs> Yo, how you propose we do that, huh? Simple. Me and you, one-on-one. -on -one. 
to 20. Oh, and uh, since we've been doing this all year long already, you know what I'm saying? Figure we put a little something extra on it. Loser pays the winner their first month's paycheck. <laughs> oh, it's on, Jack. Yo, I've been waiting for an opportunity like this all year long, homie. Let's ball. Cool.